star drive and the cake walk. For gravity to work, gravitons need special qualities. They have to travel, for instance, from the moon to Earth. In the mix of gases, for example, the individual molecules are able to bounce each other out of trajectory. To enable gravitons to travel across our galaxy in a straight line, without being knocked out of trajectory by other gravitons, their weight, rigidity and size must be the same for all gravitons, hence making it possible for the impulse to travel alone. The impulse can never cross open space if this open space is a sea of seven different types of particles. Gravity does not bend, as balls suspended on a rubber sheet imply too often. Gravity travels similar to the way a ball from Newton's cradle travels from one side to the other. This is a sea full of gravitons. One comes from the moon and hits Earth, but it's a different graviton. They have exchanged the impulse. Um, but again, unlike Newton's cradle, gravitons are not aligned in outer space. So how can gravitons exchange their entire impulse without bouncing each other, of course? That problem I solved using a sketch I made in 1994. I sketched a gyroscope and imagined an impulse vector striking the top. Because of its spinning, exactly the same vector impulse was able to leave the gyroscope at the other side, uh, from top to bottom. So a gyroscope can translate a vector sideways, yet not change its direction. So now we have a graviton and it needs a gyroscope movement, a gyroscope spin. So like this, here's your graviton. It not only moves forward, it also spins. It's, it's a spring-shaped ball. That's what, what a ball-shaped spring. That's a graviton. And it needs this gyroscope so it doesn't knock it out. Of, it, it hits here. It has to need rough edges. Also, rough edges and uh, a gyroscope. So when they hit, maybe the vector moves sideways. Now it's here, the vector, then it has moved sideways. It doesn't change direction. It only moves sideways. It's not one, moves again sideways, etc. And that's how it, how uh, a graviton crosses space. Hence, this picture of the moon. See the graviton traveling from the moon, hitting another one which makes them change places, and so forth. This is how a graviton crosses space, which is filled with other gravitons. Um, since it's a very small particle, a graviton, the deviation isn't very big. It goes one way, then another way, maybe a meter at, at tops. Uh, at over those 4,000 kilometers, it's, it's nothing. Um, so now we have an idea of how, how, how it should look at graviton. Let's go back to this one first. This is when they are slick, smooth and slick gravitons without a gyroscope inside. They hit and then they bounce off in different directions. So this is what happens when you play pool. But again, when you Lost it. Oh yeah, there it is again. Sorry, this one. You see, this is different. Rough edges and gyroscope, so it does not bounce each other out of trajectory. Which the direction stays the same. Same direction. So now we have an idea how a graviton should look. What it should look like. And there you are. It has similar mass. Well, so these are all the same. The graviton is this. Now the graviton looks exactly the same. They spin around like gyroscopes, so that's, that's the spring spinning around like a gyroscope. They need rough edges, and you see it's, it's almost serrated. It has very rough edges. So that's also right. It has a spring action. It, does, it can bounce a little, um, and it can hook into each other, hook into other uh, gravitons, because two gravitons form one quark. 
one graph to another one, they can form one quark. So there you go. That's uh, a preliminary shape of a graviton. Um, and in the vicinity of matter, almost every graviton makes the same graphs and travels at a similar speed. This is due to the constant energy exchange between nucleons and gravitons. As shown before, um, when I explained gravity, gravitons and baryons exchange energy all the time. So they are also always at the same pace, same speed, if they're regulated. Here comes the speed. <laughs> 